Previously on the Adventures of Shlomo, Dr. Tsurismacher had stolen the Statue of Liberty, and now Captain Helm and Shlomo, using a sophisticated French submarine lent to them by the President of France, were on Dr. Tsurismacher's trail. As they entered the submarine, they marveled at its sophistication. Uh, ta. Um, is it possible that we should focus on finding Dr. Tsuismacher? Mm, you're right, Shlomo. Well, he gave us a clue. Oh, Ta, but I don't remember it. Oh, I wish this submarine had a sophisticated rewind the story on it, a rewind the story device on it. <gasps> Shlomo, look at that button. It's clearly, it's clearly a rewind the story device activation switch. Wow, I was not expecting that. All we have to do is go back and hear the clue. Bzzz. And for now, the city was safe. Oh, oh, Shlomo, that was the fast-forward device. That was the end of the story. Wait, we don't want to spoil the end of the story. Oh, I I'll pass the rewind. They heard that familiar voice. The Statue of Liberty stood on the water, holding its high, high torch. But now the statue has moved its location, and it sits upon the port. Wait, did he say porch or port? Maybe he said a port, like, like a place where ships come in. It must be at the bottom of the river, in the port of New York. Now, now the French, wait. The French president said this thing has turbo blasters, right? Oh, yes, Tati, yes. Oh, I'll activate them. I just have to find them. Found them. Bzzz. Shlomo. That was the let a bunch of water into the submarine button. Oops. Um, uh, where's the pump the water out of the submarine button? Oh, right here. Bzzz, glub, glub, glub. All right, Shlomo, let's see. I think this button activates the turbo blast. <laughs> Thanks, kiddo. Yay, we've arrived in the port of New York. Boy, those turbo blasters are really working well. Okay, Shlomo, turn on the sophisticated underwater light beam. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, where's the button? Oh, here it is. Shlomo, that was the whale sonar. Uh, okay, we've just sent out a signal to every whale to come toward our sub. Oh, Ta, can I go for a ride on the back of a whale? Uh, we don't really have time for that, Shlomo. Wait, Shlomo. I'm going to deactivate the whale sonar. Okay, I've turned on the light beam. Let's see if we can find the Statue of Liberty. <gasps> Ta, look. I see a hand. Yes, it's holding a torch. Let's move closer. But wait, Kati, remember Dr. Tsoismacher was trying to wall us into a trap. Hmm, by the way, wait, what's that? You're right, but what's that swimming next to us? Oh, wow, it's a blue whale. Wow, I've never seen a blue whale before. Maybe the blue whale could help us. Um, well, you know, Dr. Tsoismacher isn't expecting us to sew up with a blue whale. Hmm, good idea, Shlomo. All right, I think the Statue of Liberty is buried under the harbor floor. We've got to use the submarine's sophisticated statue unearthing device to dig out the statue. All right, now Dr. Tsurismacher's expecting us, so you know what we need to use? Oh, I know! The Elephant of Surprise! Cl yeah, close, close enough. Uh, you know, the element of surprise is that the blue whale is going to accompany us. Okay, I'll create a diversion. Okay, I'll get on this microphone. Click. Captain Helm and Slomo are not here and are not falling into your trap. Okay, Slomo, you know what? I I'll do the talking from now on. Well, what was wrong with what I said? Well, you told Dr. Zurismacher that we're here. But I told him that we're not here. I mean... Is it possible that they told him that we're not here? Oh, well, I'll have to explain when you're older why that that strategy just doesn't work. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I'd recognize that laugh anywhere. It's definitely Dr. Tsuris Macher. All right, let's defeat him just so we don't have to hear that laugh anymore. Ta, couldn't we just respectfully ask him not to laugh anymore? We can try. Look, he's emerging from his secret hideout. Oh, he's got a sophisticated submarine too. <laughs> and I've got a microphone. Well, we have a microphone too. I have a whale sonar. Well, we've got a whale sonar and we've got a device that causes blue whales to attack any nearby submarine that's not a French submarine. Oh, well, uh, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't activate it, would you? We just did. Bam! Bam! Hey, that's not nice. Don't do that again. Okay, well, if you want the whale to stop those crops, those crops are going to stop when you return the Statue of Liberty to its pedestal. Well, first you have to be nice. We have to be nice? Well, you know what's not so nice? Taking the Statue of Liberty without permission. You know what else isn't nice that you did? What? That was the only not nice thing that I did. You're right, Dr. Tsurismacher, and that's exactly my point. Don't you see? Most of the things you've done in your life have been nice. You have a pure neshama that wants to do good things, not take landmarks off their pedestals. I know what you're trying to do. What am I trying to do? By emphasizing the inherent goodness and purity of my neshama, you're trying to turn me from a Russia into a tzaddik, from a villain into a hero, from a bad apple into, uh, uh, organic applesauce. Well, uh, I'm not so about that last example, but, um, otherwise, yes, that is my goal. Well, guess what? It's working. Suddenly, Dr. Tsurismacher activated the Make the Statue of Liberty Emerge from the Sea Floor and Return to Liberty Island device. Soon, the statue was securely back on Liberty Island. Um, Tati, uh, now that Dr. Tsurismacher has done Tsuva, should we capsule him or let him go? What do you, the listeners out there, think? What would you do? Captain Helm decided to call the Rav. Rabbi, we've got an urgent Shila. We've got a villain here who took the Statue of Liberty. We spoke to him, and Baruch Hashem, Devarim Sheyotzi Min Alev, Nichnasim Lalev. He seems to have changed his ways. He returned the statue back to where it belongs. Should we capture him, or let him go? The Rabbi stroked his beard. Well... This is a difficult Shiloh indeed. We know that even with all his Averos, Yishmoel eventually did tshuva. If you think that this man's tshuva is emistic, honest and real and genuine, then let him go. Meidach Gisa, if you think he's not being honest, then please take him to the authorities. But Captain Helm, I must tell you, I'm not in the kishkas of this situation. You are. And therefore I trust your judgment. And I wish you bracha v'atzlocha. Captain Helm decided to dive into Hashem for guidance. Hashem, you're all powerful. Please, please give me, give me the knowledge, the insight, the das to know what to do. Thank you, Hashem. Shlomo, I think we should let Dr. Tsurismacher go. But ta, huh, what if he hops the statue of Wibbody all over again? I think he's true in his tshuva. So we should be done the chavzchus. Um, attention, Dr. Tzawismacho. We accept your tshuva, and we hope Hashem does too, and we encourage you to keep moving in this direction. Uh, Captain Helm here. Oh, mon capitaine, merci. I have received reports that the Statue of Liberté is back. I must give you the utmost compliment on a job well done. As you say, shkoyach. Well, thank you, sir. It's a privilege to help. And of course, we'll, we'll be returning the submarine to you as soon as possible. Oh, 
Uh, sir, um, my son would like to speak with you. Hello, Mr. Flans, President. Um, I just wanted to say thanks. Thanks? Pourquoi? I really liked using your submarine. And I really appreciate that you trusted me to use it. Grown-ups usually tell me, not yet, or when you're bigger, or you, you know what I mean? But you trusted me that I was responsible enough to, to, to use it. Thanks. De rien, Shlomo. Listen, anytime you are in France, please stop by Paris and say bonjour. Okay, so. Well, the Statue of Liberty was back in place. And Dr. Tsurismacher was in his submarine, on his way to Eretz Yisrael to enroll in a Baal Yeshiva to learn more about what it means to be an Erlich and a Ben Taira. And for now, the city was safe. <laughs>